I'm Dr. Swachla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Let's see what varicoceles are and how they cause infertility. Varicoceles are caused by varicose vein. Varicose vein is the vein that is responsible for carrying back the blood from the testis and scrotum back to the heart. Now, when this vein, you know, the valve of the vein does not function properly, blood starts accumulating in the testis and depending upon the severity of this, there are symptoms related to it and it can cause a lot of pain in the testis area. The symptoms of this are pain in the scrotum area, in the testis, especially when you've been sitting for too long or standing for too long, there can be excruciating pain depending upon the severity of varicocele. Then there is testicular atrophy. The size of the testis may also reduce because of this varicocele veins presence in the testis. Of course, all these can also lead to infertility. Uh, we need to verify this with the semenalysis as well. The count, motility and morphology of the sperms have to be analyzed and then this can be related with the presence of varicocele and see how severe the varicocele is and how severe the semenalysis report is. Based on that, treatment options are given. So, what is the occurrence of varicocele? 10% of normal population men have varicocele problem. It depends on the severity as well. The normal age group is around 15 to 30-35 and it could also be more if the problem is left unattended. In infertile couples, about 30% of males have been reported to have varicocele veins. This can cause like I said, damages to the sperms and therefore lead to infertility. It's estimated or many specialists say that because of the presence of varicocele, the blood collection can lead to increased temperature causing damage to sperms. It could lead to less sperm count, less motility and poorer morphology of the sperms present in the semen. Therefore, it's very important to diagnose this, to report this to your urologist or fertility specialist so that they can decide on the treatment options, especially if you're trying for a child. Of course, it's not to mention that pain has to be relieved as well. So the first priority is pain relief. And then of course, if you're trying for children for pregnancy, you should get that looked into as well. If you want to understand more about this, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.